Hello everyone, myself Mitali Jain and in today's session we will learn about spectrum analyzer with tracking generator of 3.6 gigahertz. So this spectrum analyzer is basically used to analyze the spectrum of different signals and waveform. Order code is SA1036TG. So this spectrum analyzer has the display of 10.6 color display inches in inches and there are different ports. So this is the USB port and this is the phone jack so here we will uh, can connect our earphones and uh, that panel will, will have a detailed discussion so this is the whole setup of our spectrum analyzer with this uh, we can also connect it with the computer interface so we have also provided the system for computer interfacing so for that we have provided the software in uh, cd so if you want to operate the computer interfacing system so you can install the software and you can also run the system on software so this is the spectrum analyzer so we will have a detailed discussion of the this panel so this is basically our manual soft keys this is the lcd display which we have discussed and this is the function keys and this is the knob and these are the arrow key to move upward and downward and this is rf input connector these are the unit keys these are the numeric keys and this is for tracking generator output connector this this is for tracking generator output on and off button and here you can connect the earphone interface this is the usb host port and this is the power key so now we will discuss about function keys so this is the function basic functions keys so these are all basic keys these are control keys these are utility keys these are marker measures and these are advanced measurement so as you can see the frequency span amplitude and auto so frequency is basically activate the center frequency function span basically activates the frequency sweep span and AMPTD it activates the reference level function and it searches the signal automatically within the full frequency range and these are the control uh, keys so B BW as the name suggests this is the bandwidth so it activates the resolution bandwidth function trace so this is the trace so it access the soft key that allows you to store and manipulate the trace information this is the detector it access the soft key that allows you to configure the detector function display it access the soft key that allows you to control what is displayed on the analyzer then after that sweep sweep is basically used to access the soft key that allows you to sweep the time and trigger it is basically used uh, used to allows you to select the triggering then after that source and uh, demodulation so source is basically used to access uh, the tracking generator and demodulation is basically used to uh, set the demodulation so this is the whole about control keys then after that we will talk about the utility keys so these are the utility key this is system this is print so system is basically used to set the system parameters file this is file it exists the soft key that allows you to configure the file system of analyzer then this is preset button it resets the analyzer to the factory setting or the user rate and this is the print if you want to print the parameter so you can press this key this is the save if you want to save the uh, data your data your screen so you can save through this and this is the help so if you want have any doubt so you can press the help button and this is the marking markers so in this this is the peak button this is the marker function this is marker so peak button is basically plays a marker on the highest peak and access the peak function menu then after that this marker function basically access the menu of a special function such as marker noise and db bandwidth frequencies and frequency counting this marker with an arrow access the marker marker function soft key that allows you to set the an another function parameter which are based on current marking value and this is the marker so it basically uh, access the marker control key that selects the type and number of marker and then you can turn it and turn off then after that these are the measuring keys so these are basically advanced measuring keys so it's m e a s 
इट इज मेजरमेंट की सो इट एक्स इज अ सॉफ्ट की दैट लेट यू ट्रांसमिट द पावर मेजरमेंट सच इज ए सी पी आर चैनल पार एंड ओ बी डब्ल्यू इट्स ऑक्यूपाइड बैंड विथ एंड मैनी मोर फैक्टर्स मेजरमेंट सेटअप दिस सेट्स अ पैरामीटर फॉर सेलेक्टेड मेजरमेंट फंक्शंस एंड दीज आर द न्यूमेरिक की सो यू कैन सी दैट वन टू थ्री ऑल आर द नंबर्स एंड दिस इज अ डिसमल symbol and this is for in positive and negative symbol this is for multiplier this is basically to cancel your output and this is to uh, back the key so this is all about our numeric keys this is the knob function during the parameter editing turn the knob anti clockwise so to decrease the parameter and if you will turn the knob to clockwise then the parameter will increase so these are the direction keys to move upward and downward so this is the whole about the front panel and uh, uh, these are which i have already told this is for rf input and this is for uh, tracking generator output so this is the rear panel of our uh, spectrum analyzer so you can see that there are the different ports so this is the basic handle so you can if you want to lift the, it no, you can lift in such a manner and then after that this is here you have to connect the power supply co code then after that these are provided these stools are provided to uh, provide a stability to the system then after that this is the vga port this is for lan interface this is for usb device interface and this is for 10 megahertz input output and this is for lock hole so this is the whole rear panel this is the whole setup for analysis of spectrum analyzer we will use the tracking generator so this is basically a function generator so to study the spectrum analyzer we have used this function generator which is of 10 megahertz so now we have to connect the probe so we will connect the probe to rf input so you have to rotate the probe so as you can see that i have connected the probe then after that we have to switch on the supply so you have to press that button and the function generator button so it basically depicts so this log is for amplitude division type then after that you can see the db per division so db per division is amplitude division then after that uh, ref 0 dbm so it's basically reference level then the detection type so uh, this is basically a detection type and as you can see det pos uh, pek this is basically detection type and the attenuation is 20 db and at this point you can see that this is the center frequency which is of 1.8 gigahertz this is the start frequency which is of 9 kilohertz this is the stop frequency which is of 3.6 gigahertz this is the center frequency which is of 360 megahertz the auto and manual mode so here we have selected the auto mode then after that this is the frequency offset which is now 0 hertz and this is the frequency reference and this is for internal and this is for external so as you can see that at its uh, at its bottom panel like bottom display so this is for lan access sign this is for usb device storage and this is temperature sign this is for sweep time here is sweep time is 48 milliseconds and this is for span which is of 3.6 gigahertz and you can see that it's vbw vbw is video bandwidth which is about 3 megahertz then after that this is center frequency center frequency is 1.8 gigahertz which is also mentioned here then after that this is resolution bandwidth which is 3 megahertz and this is the system status that our system is ready to access So this is the whole description of our setup. Now we will generate the spectrum. Press the output button. So then you have to press the auto button. So it will start searching the signal. So you have to wait for few seconds. So you can see that the spectrum is obtained. So you can see this is the center frequency, and now our center frequency is nearly about one point two two gigahertz. 
so if you want to increase and decrease the amplitude of this function so we can increase by this so now i will set the amplitude to 5 volt 5 vpp so you can see that amplitude in is increasing and uh, you can see when i am decreasing the value so its amplitude is decreasing so in this way we can set the amplitude and you can also rotate this knob to check the various parameters so you can see that when i am rotating this knob so the point the first point which is shown like this is the first point which is uh, highlighted with a circle so this is this point which is to bottom so you can see that the center frequency is switched so this is the whole spectrum we have obtained so you can also test this uh, experiment by different waveforms and by different signals and by different types of tracking generators if you want to switch off this device so you have to press this button for long so this device will be switched off so this is all about today's session for further query you can contact to tesco technologies private limited and you can also refer to our user manual so this is all about today's session thank you for watching the video